guys, what is going on? This is Ip of Rage Quit TV. Gonna be casting a game between Empire's Violet and Slayer's Puzzle. It is a PVZ on Daybreak, and this just isn't any game. This is start to a BO5 because it is the MSI Pro Cup number 10 finals. And this is where I normally say it's in the Zerg favor because it is Daybreak. However, due to a recent Protoss build, I think maybe the Protoss don't really hate this map anymore. In MLG Arena that just happened like a week or two ago, we saw Purding actually choose this match in the ace match of the semifinals against Stefano, the king of Daybreak. His ZVP is just ridiculous, especially on this map. The Protoss never will take this third base if Stefano's on his game. And unfortunately, Parting did lose. He put up in a pretty epic fight against Stefano on this map. It was just odd because Parting ended up choosing the map. Then later on in the finals of the tournament, MC got on this map and he did the same build that Parting did, except had a little bit better force fields and actually beat Stefano on this map. So we'll see exactly what Puzzle does. If you're wondering what build I'm talking about, it's the Forge Faz Expand into the One Gate Robo. You rush out to Immortals, take your expansion, and of course you get Sentry so you can get those Force Fields down that are so critical. And you also have to get some type of Sim City right here at the third base. It's not really specific what type, you just need a certain type I guess you could say. And also, the Zerg player cannot get their hatch delayed. If they get their hatch delayed, the Protoss generally do have an advantage. Stefano was saying that also in an interview after that about the Purting game. Purting slipped and didn't deny Stefano's hatch, and that's when Stefano said, okay, after that, I just know I got this game in the bag. And we don't have a scout coming out from Puzzle just yet. He did place the pylon down here, and looks like he may be going for a Nexus first. Uh, the probe is coming down. Yes, it will be Nexus first as he is going to be building the Nexus and then will he end up going out to scout? He shouldn't be able to delay Violet's na uh, natural hatch at all as that is now just getting put down. So, Puzzle, he's actually not going out to scout. He is going to be building a forge right after that at 17 supply. And we'll see the probe if he goes for a gateway before the cannon or after the cannon. Of course, that does change the time your Cyber Next Core finishes, which uh, changes the time you can get your Robo facility up or also the um, Warp Gate research done. It's not a set in stone if Puzzle is going to be go doing the One Gate Robo. It's just what I've seen every Protoss do on this map. We do have the probe going out to scout now. A little bit late, he does go for the gateway before cannon. And that gateway was at 19, as he does go in the base of Violet, is going to see the hatch, and then he may go check the third base. He sees two lings right now. The two things that Puzzle needs to know is the third base going up, and also is Violet getting gas. We see Violet not getting gas, so that should mean he is going to be taking his third base as the drone now making his way down there. But... Puzzle not going to see either of those things, just sees two links and runs immediately away, so he is not getting the best scouting. Meanwhile, Violet, he's going to scout absolutely everything of Puzzle, just because, well, Zergs are so easy to scout for us at this early game, especially with the speed boost. This one, Overlord, right here, sees, okay, you don't have any gas, and this one, kind of surprised he doesn't go down here and check this gas timing. But it looks like he may just be making his way over to this area. We'll see exactly what this overlord ends up doing. It is spotted. A little bit odd for Violet just to leave this here. He really wants to see something. We see another probe going to be making his way out. Maybe this one is going to try to check if that third base has been built yet. Because if he sees the third base, then he also knows that the gas should be delayed. Because you wouldn't be taking this third so early if the, you were also mining gas. So the probe going to be making his way over there. Overlord does spot it. One link does turn around to try to take this probe out. The probe is going to keep on going. And it should be able to see this third base. And we do have Violet still just droning on up. Probe is going to see the third base already being built. Cyber Next Core is done. He has started his warp gate. Does have two gases done right now. And, um... This is about the time he should be throwing his Robo Facility. As soon as he gets the 200 minerals, there we go. Robo Facility does go down, so it will be that Immortal build that I was talking about earlier on in this game. And again, I just haven't seen any Zerg not do this. At least, any, I mean, Korean Protoss not do it on this map. It's just that common. We have a lot of drones transferring on down to the third base of Violet. And uh, we should see Puzzle starting to think about taking his third base as he gets those Immortals out. Looking at his Chrono Boost energy, he's not saving any, so he won't get those Immortals out as soon as possible. We do have Puzzle putting cam uh, pylons around his base just so he doesn't get taken surprise by, like, a Nidus Worm, because his unit's not going to be strong right now. He's only got two sentries. You really do skimp out on your early defense. 
get those sentries out so you can get the full experience and work some magic with a cannon because the sentry's not going to be doing so much damage. But because Puzzle did see Violet on the very fast third base, he knows the roaches won't start getting built until around the 8.30 or 9 minute mark. So he doesn't have to worry about that much right now. We don't have the speed started just yet. He is at a, over 100 gas, and he's going to go for this lair first. And this will allow him to get roach speed relatively quickly as the roach one should go down within... Well, it's already being built. Just down at the natural, it looks like. Back here. Yes, it is. So... He will be rushing out that road speed upgrade so he can deal with Blink Stalker builds because if you don't get the, if you get speed before the lair, Blink Stalkers will actually pretty much just outright kill you. So that's why I see all the Zergas going for this lair first and then they will get the speed. We should see the next 100 gas go into speed but instead he is going to be putting that into ground care pace level 1 so this is an odd build out of Violet not playing this as standard but Violet is known for not really playing standard. We do have an observer coming out. And that was interesting, he got an Observer before both of these mortals just wants to ensure that his opponent isn't going to be massing speedlings maybe? It is going to be staying at this one, watch out, a little bit odd, it doesn't keep on going to Violet's base. But if Violet did scout the Observer, then he also scouts, okay, Immortals can be coming out. So maybe that's why the Observer doesn't want to move that much, he just gets on these lings, can see this area and doesn't want to risk going into Violet's base because then Violet would know, okay, you went for a very fast robo facility. We do have Puzzle now walling that off with the pylon and moving out. We do have two Immortals, three Zealots, and a buttload of sentries with more Stalkers being warped in. Not going to be going for the third base, but uh, Violet, of course, did see that with the Ling, and this is going to be a plus one timing as well, and this could be very hard for Violet to hold. We have Violet now just starting to produce units. He's at 69 drones with six Roaches out and eight Lings. When uh, Puzzle has this devastating army but somehow the army supply now is equal as violet is producing roaches 11 at a time right now just suddenly switching on over we do have violet now coming in those lings don't have speed just yet that is 10 seconds away from being completed these roaches do force puzzle to pull on back also gets a warp prism after those two immortals so he can keep warping in units we do have violet going to keep on taking out these pylons trying to force puzzle back because every second that violet delays puzzle the more units he'll be able to get because he is now just starting to build units, but Violet, he's um, losing his third base right now from Puzzle. We do have drones going down, only one, so he did transfer most of those over here as we do see oversaturation, which means if he can hold this push off, he is way ahead on workers and he will be in good shape as long as he can hold this off. He is getting three spine claws, still just trying desperately to delay Puzzle. Some good force fields do go down. And uh, where is that Warpism? There it is back there, warping in some more units. Four Stalkers do come in. These Immortals just doing so much damage right now. 11 kills, 10 kills. Those Roaches getting a relatively okay concave. Now the drones have been going out, but these Immortals not taking any damage whatsoever. Two Spine Colors are up. The drones are starting to push this back. The Roaches are coming out. And it looks like Violet may just barely hold, but at what cost? He has lost a lot of workers right now. Up to 33, 35 workers killed. And we do have Puzzle now doing some micro with this Warp Prism, putting his Zealous and Immortals inside the Warp Prism, keeping it alive. So good by Puzzle right now with that Warp Prism play. You can see him putting that Immortal in and out, just ensuring that Immortal doesn't get hit. Very nice job by Puzzle with that Warp Prism. And with that, he will be pushing Violet back even further. Another Warp hit is coming, puts the Immortal back in it. Such a good job right now by Puzzle. Going into the workers, it is 31 drones to 47 probes. It's not looking good for Violet, and looks like Puzzle just going to be moving on back, going to be taking out this one Overlord, and he has done the damage. He doesn't have to do any more. He can just retreat back home. He's got 47 probes to the 31 drones, so he is way ahead on that economical front, but Violet looks like he is gearing up to do a counterattack before Puzzle gets in. No, he is just going to be going, engaging yet again. Puzzle still has plenty of force fields. His sentry count is still at 5. It looks like Violet is setting up to get a complete concave and go for a flank on this army. If he gets the flank done well, he should be able to take this out. Force fields go up at the front, but the units in the back, the mortal getting tugged down. It does go down. The Warp Prism is up in the front right over here. I think it elevated those Zealots over top possibly, and Violet will be throwing out the GG. That was only game number one in this BO5. And uh, my bad, I missed a cast yesterday. Um, not my fault, I guess. XSplit's database went down, which meant my li uh, copy was no longer licensed for like 24 hours, it seems like. So 
Because it wasn't licensed, the audio would have been absolutely horrible. So it looks like they just fixed that. So that's why I'm casting now, and that's why I'm casting a BO5 to make up for yesterday. Hope you enjoyed the game. We will be going into another one right now. No need to really hop in SC2 gears because, well, not much could have changed that game. It was kind of a two-base all-in from Puzzle, but you saw it was a very calculated one. And again, it is that one gate robo build that's giving a lot of Zergs trouble. But we will be going into the next game. Stay tuned.